So Zach, you mentioned uh, wireless uh, needs wires, right? And so I was doing a little research before this event and um, this Pew Research, it says roughly 73% of Americans have high speed access, a rate that is effectively unchanged since 2012, which kind of blew my mind. So what, what is uh, preventing the rest of America for gaining access to good broadband? Sure. So, um, you know, we're, so we're, we're blurring the lines a little bit of, of, you know, rural connectivity versus urban and suburban areas. So getting back to fiber just very momentarily, um, I live in Geneva, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago. And in that area, it's, um, I have gig to the home. It is fiber. Um, but when you talk about uh, certain areas in America that are very rural, you've got um, tier one, tier two carriers, fiber providers that look at a very rural area. And this is not only impacting homeowners, but schools and businesses. They'll look at that very um, rural area and they will say, you know what, our cost per subscriber is going to be X and our threshold or our pain threshold to be able to deploy our infrastructure there is about here. So we're just gonna totally not deploy fiber to this area. We're not gonna deploy uh, to that school, that school district or those homes. And the bottom line is, you know, everybody needs connectivity today. And the fact that that um, uh, hasn't changed since 2012 uh, as Americans, that's, that's pretty insulting there. But, um, at the core of it, just like John was talking about, you need this structured cable investment at your NOC, your Cat 5, your Cat 6 cable uh, to allow that connectivity. And uh, again, when you're looking at uh, the impact from an economic standpoint, a lot of these carriers will not uh, extend and reach these areas where people truly do need connectivity. 